What is up guys, welcome back to Pinoy Pounds. And in this segment, we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the features or challenges that um, was really awesome in Top Shot or some of uh, Jermaine's favorites. So Jermaine, talk to me about some, maybe let's go through maybe some challenges first. What are some of the favorite challenges that you remember either doing or that you thought was a really great challenge because of either the players needed on it or the reward for it? Um, One that sticks out to me a lot is my first challenge I did. I think it was for MGLE um, Kyrie Irving. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think um, it was a serial number eight or something very low. And I was, I was very happy, man. I was very Kyrie? proud of that. Let's check that yeah, one Kyrie. out. Like, man, the, the awesome part about Top Shot is there's so many moments now. But then, you know, if you're a collector, you have a specific moment that you know is good. Um, For sure. For sure. Yeah. Oh, is it this one? A Kyrie's Top yep. Shot debut? Oh, this yep. one was awesome. Let's check through that. It's a real dope move. Yeah, it was a it was a nasty crossover in JV too. It wasn't even that. That's not nice, man. <laughs> Look at this cross. Oh my, Hezzy. Hit him with the nice Hezzy. Jeez. But like, oh my God, like, that's a nice challenge, man. Yeah, man. Jeez. I think that was the first one I ever completed. It's completed, man. To do a challenge for a Top Shot debut, that's a. <laughs> Uh, that's now a rare thing to happen now. <laughs> so yeah, this exactly. Is awesome. uh, exactly. What were the, some of the moments needed on it? Was it like, um, was there anything <sighs> like hard to get, or was it mostly kind of? Um, no, because I think no. everybody was um, able to secure a lot of packs. So I think mm -hmm. by the time challenges came out, we probably had maybe like five or six of them already, ah. and then you just find the rest to trade with. Yeah, that's awesome. Because I'm not Ooh. sure if a lot of people know, but. Uh, we used to trade a lot. Yeah. We used to trade a lot. So we got a lot of stuff done. That's awesome. Yeah. No, like that's one thing that I uh, actually, I reached early on in the days I was able to do as well, because just because on Twitter, you're able to meet people that are, Hey, like, you know, that you can kind of kind of trust in a sense, like, Hey, but now it's a little bit harder to do that with so many people in the, and they don't have that trade feature yet. Yeah, still exactly. in, in top shot. Exactly. Yeah. Any other mom, uh, challenge that you remember uh, or some of the iconic ones still? That's, this was a great one, Wade. Um, I have a funny story, actually. Okay, share that. <laughs> um, so this was for Paul George's Run It Back challenge. Oh, movement. okay. That was right? a nasty dunk. I remember that. Very That's one nasty. Of his, his, and his like signature... Uh, like Reverse a 360? corkscrew 360 kind yeah. of thing. That's a, yeah. that's his famous. Like he's he's done that so many times. Very Vince Carter esque. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yep, this one. Jeez. So the story goes, um, I was a bit fed up getting uh, high serial number challenge rewards, right? Yeah. So yeah. When this came out, I think I got like a high 200s or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? Forget this. I'm going to sell it, man. Like, yeah. And I, from that day, I regret yeah. selling it because I, I shouldn't have sold it. <laughs> Come on. I, I shouldn't have sold it. How much did I you sell it? Feelings. Like, how much did you sell it back then? Look, when you got the uh, challenge. This was maybe like two, three hundred bucks. <laughs> Look at it now. <laughs> People don't understand how crazy, like, you know, like mass adoption is when project like these kind of come through. Yep. Right? Back then, 200 is probably a lot of, you know, a, a pretty decent uh, sale in terms of what it was a platform is back then. Right? I mean, well, hey, people were selling um, MGLE LeBrons for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, bro. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. <laughs> that is crazy. That's a crazy moment, it, man. It's a different oh. era, man. It's a yeah. total different era from now. <laughs> man, Discover, discovering projects like these, man, I wish, like, um, I can only wish, but I'm here still, right? That's the... Uh, right. It was right, an right. awesome moment from Paul George, man. Um, talk to me a little bit about a challenge that um, you wanted to do or uh, it just was either out of your project that you would thought it was a really good moment. Uh, one challenge that I wish I had the funds for would probably be the S1 LeBron Hollow. That Ooh, one was uh, that. done by all the OGs. <laughs> really? Yeah. Let us see. S1 Hollow. That's Not the, the legendary one, man. right? Is it the legendary or? Um, yeah. Was it this one, the out of fifty nine, or she's uh, the fifty nine, or the one out of thirty two? I think I believe it's thirty two. Yep. Yep. 
My God, this is his top shot debut too, eh? I knew exactly Man. what it was when the challenge came out, but I, yeah. I just wish I had the funds for it, bro. Man, how much was it back then to do the challenge for this one? Was it maybe in like, like what? I, I don't know, to be honest, maybe like 20, 30K maybe. 20, 30K? Jeez. Yeah. But damn, like look at it now. <laughs> I mean, the, the only person yeah, exactly. willing to sell it is a million dollars. That's insane. <laughs> man, this is such a good moment too, man. Oh, look yeah. at that. Jeez, that dunk. On Bielitsa, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, on Bielitsa there, I think. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's a great moment. Um, I mean, uh, to, before we kind of end off the segment, I mean, we can talk to maybe one feature on Top Shot that maybe we can share to the audience that uh, you didn't have before or you've loved ever since that made kind of your collection or user experience at Top Shot. So, I um, guess, fun or enjoyable. One addition that i really did like was the the quantity where it shows your quantity how much you own on the marketplace oh okay i think yeah, I know what so you're like, about, right? yeah. i like to stack a lot right and i can't yeah. keep track so when they added that it it really helped me out a lot so i like yeah. that i love that too because I, I get i get to look up for example like um i was stacking a lot of the 40k 40 le's of lowry nice. and like you can check and see how much you own of them right so that's pretty neat actually that's a good yeah exactly idea. yeah yeah, I actually like completed that. my uh, team set the other day, just in case. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, which one? Like the whole, um, the, the whole team, like series one, series two, and then full team, or? Yeah. Ah, yeah. And Lowry moments are great, man. Now that you know, it's, it's never gonna be any more Lowry moments of the Raptors. So this is yeah, exactly, honest, yeah. exactly. Yeah, this is awesome. Like, yeah. Any new feature that they, uh, or any feature that um, on top of the stacking that. You probably thought was they should have or maybe they're planning to have soon they... um it hasn't happened yet but I'm, I'm waiting for the bidding system i think that'd be pretty uh, cool yeah i think the last uh, pr uh, proposal to did that was evaluate either evaluate moment or live token that did kind of that feature with bidding right and i think it made yeah. the experience a lot more because you know a lot of people are not willing to sell at the price that it is that's why you know the only reason why it was lowest ass was a lot of people were just trying to Sell it, you know, as fast as possible. Whereas we have a bidding exactly. system, I think. Right? Exactly. Yeah, that's a great feature, and I hope they get that too. Because like I have, I don't have anything for sale. I, I'm literally waiting for buyer, <laughs> buyers to come at me and say, "Hey, I want to buy that <laughs> moment of." Yep. <laughs> yep. Like that's all we have, guys, for this segment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Because when we come back, now we get to see I, this. I like to call this like the my crib of Top Shot collection, where we get to look at Jermaine's uh, collection of favorite moments in his showcase. And we get to look at them when he collected it, the reason behind it, and the story behind the collection. So, stay tuned, guys. <laughs> 